If you ask the average person on the street what cancer is, I guarantee you they couldn't tell you. They just say, oh, it's a devastating disease. It kills people all the time. But cancer cells are normal cells that are bathing in acidic fluids. If you think about it like this, your body is 100 trillion cells that are bathing in two fluids. Those fluids are blood and lymphatic fluid. So think about it. If you have 100 fish in a fish tank, those fish representing 100 trillion cells, it's obvious that the fish are in the water, but the water is also in the fish. That's how your cells are saturated by blood and lymphatic fluid. But when you feed the fish, some of that food goes to the bottom of the tank and decomposes. When the fish eat some of the food, they poop and that poop goes to the bottom of the tank and decomposes. When the fish tank gets poopy and murky and stinky, some of the fish die and go to the bottom of the tank and decompose. That's exactly what happens in our bodies. We end up with undigested food, metabolic waste, which is just a medical term for cellular poop, and dead cells themselves. You have to eliminate this waste from the body. Not just the undigested food and metabolic waste, but the dead cells need to be eliminated. But when the system or the fluids in the body become acidic, the cells morph into cancer cells. So what you have to do is not put drugs in a poopy fish tank to improve the life of the fish. That's what we do in our culture. But what will improve the life of the fish immediately? You change the water. You clean the fluids that the fish are bathing in. In other words, you clean the fluids that your cells are bathing in. You clean the blood and the lymphatic system. Believe it or not, it is impossible to have cancer in an alkaline body. When the blood is alkaline, when the lymphatic fluids are alkaline, you cannot have cancer. Alkalize, 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 and cancer will be a thing of the past.